Hi guys, how's it going? Uh, this is just, you know, an uh, introduction uh, to Revit and uh, specifically for the exercise that, that actually have uh, asked you to do it. Uh, the point for that exercise this is not your project exercise, but just to break the ice between you and Revit and start actually know exactly how the things, you know, are happening. Uh, so uh, once actually you download Revit 2023, you, uh, you need to go to, uh, to new and hit actually you can find different template. So we need a, a picture template in, in, in case you actually have the two options between embryo uh, uh, architectural template or metric one. So please uh, uh, select the metric one. And after that, you just, you know, uh, click OK and you will have the architectural template okay, already uh, uh, for you. Uh, it takes a little bit of time because, you know, it is actually linked with your uh, account. So actually here you, you will find your Autodesk account, uh, which is uh, basically your um, educational one. Uh, it's good actually, you know, to educate yourself with the environment here. And as we go, maybe I'll explain more about it. But coming to our exercise, okay, where actually we need to go from CAD to Rivet. So then the first thing you need to go actually to import CAD. Uh, you will find actually there's two options between link CAD and import CAD. Try to think why actually they are there. Maybe this is something I will ask you in the class. But if you go to the import CAD here, you need actually to jump to uh, the file that I have given to you. So just let me go there uh, and uh, select, you know, the CAD file. So once actually you selected, you, you will see that you have the CAD file actually ready for you here. You know, so what we actually need to do to, to start, you know, moving from this file, you know, to the, uh, make it as a, you know, 3D, a 3D uh, uh, component file. So jump here. The first thing we need to do actually the external wall maybe. Uh, uh, since actually we don't have uh, rectangle or square shape, okay, then we need to go step by step. There's obviously different ways to do it. Sometimes you can you could make the line as you can see here, or sometimes okay, you can just you know easily just draw it like this. I'm a I'm just trying to tell you how you know the things. Sometimes it's much easier, uh, more than what you thought. Obviously, when you do the external wall, okay, don't worry now about the opening because that's something you know uh, you will deal with, okay, when once you finish. Uh, in case, for example, okay, you have like that such problem, you know, just try you know to play with the move, okay. But the, the main things that just to see, like in just a couple of seconds, okay, uh, you manage to make your CAD file, uh, like you know, looks like. Revit one, uh, something maybe you have noticed that we have level one, uh, zero, sorry, level zero and level one. So just to make sure, okay, you can select all the instance here and make sure when it comes here to select, it is up to level one. So they give you exactly, you know, how actually the level should, should look like. Uh, back here, you know, maybe after that, you, you can start thinking, you know, about uh, the individual, you know, rooms, okay, that, um, uh, that you have okay in your uh, uh, in your design, so uh, you can take this one for example. Uh, let's say again back here. Uh, just if you notice, okay, that there are several walls type here. Okay, you can select, you know, um, and that's uh, based on the internal, external, uh, and also obviously we have structural and non-structural uh, wall. Uh, but the point also here, like uh, despite okay, the type of the wall that you actually are selecting, okay, like you can go inside any wall, as you can tell, okay, and you can actually change, you know, the type for that wall, or maybe sometimes like have more understanding about what actually, you know, happening, you know, inside that, uh, you know, uh, inside that wall, okay, uh, because that sometimes uh, could be helpful. You know, so for example, here I can understand this is interior. Uh, this is the width one uh, 125 uh, millimeters. I can actually go to the edit, okay, and change it. Uh, even I can change the finishes or delete some stuff from it, okay. That's, uh, but what, when you do that, make sure to do duplicate, you know. Uh, so let's say, okay, I'm, I'm taking that, uh, that one. So I will move like this. 
like this. Again, don't worry about you know the doors. When it's, it is actually, I think it's a, it's a master, it's a master room one. Okay, you know, so you can just do it like this, like this, like this. Okay, and obviously you will do it like this, like this. You know, so like for example, here we have a door. So you can just easily jump there, okay, and start, you know, find the door. Obviously, there is different type. If you if you click on space, by the way, you will move the door, you know. Uh, and also you can uh, go to the edit, okay, and change the, the size for the doors, okay, based on what you're expecting. But let's see, like, uh, if you go upstairs to the 3D, actually what you start designing, it actually it is start happening. You know, and uh, just, I mean, I mean, to, to know how the thing sometimes it's easy, it's not that much scary. Obviously in the project, okay, we'll, we'll deal with, with more uh, advanced stuff, but as a starting point, that actually could be really helpful okay, to you. Uh, when it comes, you know, like to think about a furniture, sometimes okay, you can go to the component uh, and the component actually, you can find different temperature, but in case you couldn't find it here, you know, maybe you can go again to the insert and go to the load Autodesk family, but make sure, okay, again, okay, you are um, signing in with your name. So you can just type bed, okay, selected, click load, okay. After that, you know, you will have the bed okay, here. For example, if I need to make it here also, I will do a space. So I can put the bed here and also here. So again, if I go here to, I can actually see the bed. Just if you haven't noticed, okay, from this one, you can change, you know, I mean, how the things actually look like. I mean, so you can actually click on realistic, but realistic sometimes could make your file a little bit heavier, you know, so, you know, it depends what you are looking for, you know, is, uh, you can actually um, uh, still deal uh, with, you know, with, with the stuff. Uh, also, like for example, okay, like let's say here we have an opening, uh, so maybe we can click on the windows, okay. Uh, obviously, we have several type of windows, okay, and, uh, and like styles, you know. So once you click on this one, and by the way, also you can change, okay, the direction for the window as you go. So. Here, for example, it's actually smaller. So maybe you can have it like this one. And if we, if we jump again here, I need to show you something interesting that, uh, see, actually you can really see the things from inside. So because, you know, uh, again, when we speak about uh, 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 building information model, it is, it is actually you're building your model like here with it the digital words, not just, you know, uh, like, uh, you, I mean, you adding stuff. And uh, again, if you click on any items, as, as I can tell, okay, you can read uh, the physical properties, okay, for that items, okay. So actually, uh, you are dealing with actual, you know, uh, uh, properties. Uh, also, you can actually add the floor, which is actually kind of similar uh, to the wall, you know, you, you need just, you know, to walk uh, through all the edges, okay? Considering that, you know, uh, I would actually, uh, this vela is not, uh, you know, rectangle. Uh, maybe if it's rectangle, you can use another options, which is kind of much easier, you know? And, and then you can just click close. If it's not happening, you need just, again, to do it by yourself. Make sure, actually, it is touch. Uh, if there is problem, uh, when you click on finish edit mode, it would not happen. If all good, it will happen. So in our case, all good. So back here, actually, you can tell that uh, now uh, you having okay the the, the floor downstairs. Uh, um, again, also, I mean, you have I mean the option for the roof. Uh, also, roof kind of similar like uh, the the floor plan, and that's something really good about. Uh, BIM that uh, like all items uh, are similar from orders perspective and options which make your life easy so you don't need actually to uh, save a lot of memory 
Uh, so you can just do it like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, this, also like this one, this one, this one, this one, and come here to close it. Again, you click on finish. Uh, yeah, you cannot see it here because this is not the roof level, but if you go here, uh, actually it didn't happen because we didn't maybe close it. Let me then do it again, just to make sure. So I would go to the roof level. Uh, again, like this, like this. So sometimes when it is happen and it's not closed, you know, and you cannot see it just, you know, easily do back to that one. Uh, make sure actually you are in level one, I think, because uh, the previous one wasn't a level one. That's why, you know, we had that, uh, we had that issue, you know. So sometimes if it's happening with you, just, you know, don't worry. Uh, make sure you are at the right level. So when you click OK, you know, it should happen right now. So yeah, this is your roof. This is the floor, it's the building. Obviously, actually you need to, to finalize it all, but let me also show you something. Like right now you cannot actually see what's happening inside, you know, unless you know you are looking from the windows. But what actually you can do, if you jump to the properties here, you will find something called section box. If you click on that one, you know, you might sometimes, okay, go inside the model a little bit, okay, and see actually what's happening inside. So actually that does not uh, delete what you have done, but actually you make cutting, okay, on in the in, in the model in case you finish that so easily, you know, you can finish it. And let's say you have done everything and everything is ready, you know, downstairs here in the project browser, uh, you can actually jump downstairs here to the sheet. Uh, you can actually do a new sheet, okay. You know, and uh, up here you, you can have M21. Obviously, you can uh, add the, your name and details about it. But more importantly, okay, when it comes like to the model, you can just you know add it like this. Maybe after what you finish, you can also add your uh, uh, your plan view, you can stuff like that. So, so you actually you can build your uh, 3D model. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, the video. It's like an introductory video, just you know, to break the ice between you and uh, Revit Five. Hopefully, it is fun, you know. And um, yeah, tell me if you have questions.